Hello guys, welcome to all MW Tutor presented by Profitex Stream. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 26. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about listing of all book self data to data table. Inside last video, we had discussed about that is how can we store our form data that is book self data to our database table. So if I back to our browser, now go to database. Now inside this table called tbl bookself inside this we have stored all the form data. Now inside this video, we are going to show all these stored data inside this list bookself. And remember, inside this page, so far we have developed a data table. Now inside this data table, we have called ID, name, capacity, status, and the action. Now inside these columns, we will show the respective data called ID, book self name, capacity, self location, and status. So back to editor, go to partials folder, and inside here we have called the template for file for listing book self called tmpl list hyphen book self. Now inside this, we have to read all the data. So if I go to this file, inside this file, scroll down, or simply here we can see about that is tmpl list hyphen book self. Now this is the method actually we are calling. Now inside this method, we need to read all the data and render all the data inside this template file. So let's say that global WPDB, this is global WordPress data object. Now we are going to use this object value and by using this object, we have several methods to read data from our database. So let's say that book underscore self equal to WPDB and we have method called get result. Inside this, we are going to use the prepared statement. So let's say WPDB prepared method and inside this, we are going to use called select star that is from all. So let's say from and the table name we have. So remember in the last video, we had included the object that is TBL activator. So if I copy this table activator back to our method, now here, let's say that this table activator and we are going to read. So if we go to includes folder, activator file, scroll down and this is the method name. So copy the method name, we need to pasting it here because it will return the book self table name. So we are going to select all the data from this table and putting after comma a means empty double quotes or a single quotes. It is because let's say that if we supply any where condition, let's say where id equal to 1. So instead of putting static value, as we know that in the previous lectures where we had discussed about global WPDB object, so we need to pass the placeholder. So for the integer value, we need to pass called the percent D and the respective value of ID, we need to pass it here. So let's say that in case, if we supply about the where condition, so simply we need to write called where ID equal to percent ID and here we need to pass the respective value. Now this is for the integer value. Again back to browser, let's say that if we are going to compare with the self name, so here we need to write call self underscore name and instead of percent %d, we need to provide the percent %s value and here we need to pass the self name here. So this is all about passing our placeholder and respective value inside this prepare method. So right now, we are going to get actually all the data from the table without putting where condition. So simply, I am going to put a empty value after this comma because we have no placeholder. Now if I copy this book cell variable, and let's say that 
print a and to print all the values first so if I save all these changes back to browser reload this page now I think that we have some error here if I back to editor and the error I think that instead of get result we have got get results method so if we save all these changes reload this page now as we can see that we have all data so before that if I make some formatting here so let's say PRE tag save that reload and this is all about the data so right now we can see this is our first object second object third object and so on so this is all about array of objects we are getting it here now let's say that we are going to read all the data by iterating using for each loop and print all the data inside this data table so if we remove all these things from here save reload back to our view file so inside this t body later I am putting a PHP tag here so let's say if and remember directly we are passing this value variable means this is the variable which contains all the data and we are directly passing this variable inside this buffer it means that this template will access these values directly by using this variable so if I copy let's say that if count book self equal to zero it means that inside this variable we have more than one means more than zero book self so using for each loop let's say book self as let's say index here we have data means each row of book self now I'm going to put simply if I copy this tr putting it here or instead of copy and paste let's say we're going to make a tr here and inside this the first column we want about the id value so tabular data inside this let's say that echo data and remember if we see the output so inside this output the first we have called the id column so the first we have id column copy and paste inside the second we want about the name so if I back to table to check the column name go to structure copy the column name and this is about our self name so let's say that I am to make it it as string to upper it means the self name will be printed in upper case again copy pasting it here and inside next let's say capacity so I am to put int value here and let's say data and this is our value next we have called self location so after capacity I am to add one more column and let's say that it will be something let's say location here so if I copy this column name and putting inside this t footer as well so copy pasting it here and this is all about if I copy this self location pasting it here now the next tabular data we have called our status column so on the basis of value if I go to this listing now inside this listing we can see we have two possibilities first is either one value or in the second we have zero value so let's say that in case of one we want to show a active button in case of zero we want to show a inactive button back to editor so let's say that ins inside this PHP tag let's say if data status it means we have one value so inside this we are going to show a button and inside this button let's say active and we are going to add some bootstrap class let's say btn btn and it will be success here 
Otherwise, if I copy this tag, putting a else block, pasting it here, and let's say that this is danger class means red in color, and we are going to make it as a inactive button. Now finally, we need to add a action button here. So we have to make one more TD. And inside this, let's say that for now, we are going to make a delete button. So let's say button here, delete. Here we need to pass, let's say, class btn btn danger. If we save all these changes, back to admin panel, reload this page. Now as we can see here, that is list book self. Inside this, we have our self ID, self name in uppercase, capacity value. This is our location. Here we have called is the status called active and inactive. And here we have called the delete button. So successfully guys, and also if we want to search here, let's say that we want about a value and this is the value we are searching. If we want to search about, let's say, self number three, and this is what we have called the self number three, it means this value will be compared with the each value and get filtered. Let's say 103, and this is the value actually we are looking for. So in the in the last video, that is video number video number 25, we had seen that how can we save all these data to our database table. Now inside this video, we have listed all the book self data inside this data table. In the next video, we will see that while clicking on these buttons, how can we delete a particular row from this data table as well as from this database table. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.